We didn't have a clue what was happening in Sydney Harbour until it filled it through. There was major submarines in the harbour. Sydney was a light, and the lights on Garden Island, where they were still working, building, um, and uh, various things on the island were, were just bright lights. There was this net that could be opened for any ships that were leaving or coming into the harbour. And a manly ferry came, and this first submarine that came in uh, was manoeuvring to follow underneath the manly ferry. But of course they were difficult to manoeuvre. It missed the gate and he went into the net and was caught in the net. Well, the second one that came in that did all the damage, he followed the underneath the... The, the ferry, and he eventually positioned the submarine near Clifton Gardens, and uh, and his purpose was to, to destroy the Chicago, which was a heavy American cruiser. And he fired from there, fired two torpedoes, and both of them missed the Chicago, and the destroyer that was alongside the Chicago travelled right across the harbour. And one of them went up, would you believe, onto the a wharf and um, didn't explode. It burst over, but didn't explode. But this other one came across. Now, tied alongside the cutable was um, a Dutch submarine, went underneath the submarine, underneath the cutable, and exploded against the seawall. I was a motorboat driver and I used to drive them motorboats at night, and sent us out into the harbour with this dirty big jet charge on the back of every to drop that we'd have got up with it. You know, when you look back in hindsight, all that was over. The submarine had fired two shots under the Chicago, bounced off the wall at Fort Denison, and um, blew, up, blew back and blew up the cuttable. I was there when they raised the sunken submarine. I was over at Garden Island. I saw it come in, saw them bring the people out of the cutables on them. But a um, nasty experience, but still it happens. So the four of us walked up to the beach, standing on the beach, and I could hear this thud, thud, the funniest noise. I said, excuse me, have a look out there. What's that light that keeps coming on every now and again? And he looked, and then all he suddenly yelled out, Christ, they're shelling the coast. It was the mother sub that dropped those two subs in Sydney Harbour. This was the mother submarine. They were getting their range, I think, and that was the thud, so there were dud shells on the beach. They took out the shop front behind where we were standing, and I'm standing there thinking, God, I've only been in the army half an hour, and they're bloody well shooting at me already. Anyway, they put the, uh, we couldn't get home that night. The lights were still on, there were no sirens, we weren't ready. <laughs> <laughs>